In the last video, we got our dialogue kind of set up here. So now if we click on the image view widget in post fragment, we see a dialogue that asks the user to choose a photo from memory or take a picture using the camera. But we haven't verified any permissions yet. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So um, let's, I'm in the manifest and we're going to need to use internet. So I might as well add that one too. And then we're going to need to use um, external storage. So read external storage. And also we need one for whoops, uses uh, writing external storage because we're going to be using the camera and then also getting that camera. So there we go. So those are all the permissions we need to add to the manifest, but we also need to explicitly ask for camera write and read uh, storage permissions because ever since uh, Android version Marshmallow, it, Android requires you to explicitly ask the user for those permissions. So that's what we're going to build a method for here. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and give myself some, oh, there's already lots of room. And we're going to create a method called private void verify uh, storage. I guess maybe not just, maybe just verify permissions, verify permissions. Cause we're going to be asking for more than just storage permission. We're going to be asking for also camera permission. So to start off, we'll uh, type a log. So asking user for permissions, and then let's create a string array of all of our permissions. So string permissions equals uh, the first one will be Android dot manifest dot permission. And then this is going to be read external storage and then comma and then manifest dot permission dot write external storage and then comma. And the camera one's a little different. I think it's just manifest permission and then camera. You don't need to. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess that's the same. So, OK, next we'll do. So if the permissions are checked. So if context got compat dot check self permission, and this is where we can pass our permissions. So first the context though, so get application context, then comma, uh, the first permission, which would be the index zero. So if that permission is good, uh, so package manager dot permission granted, then that's great. And then we need to check the other ones. So I can do and, and I'm going to copy this line, or these two lines and just paste that in and then change this to the next index. And then we're going to repeat that process. So I'm just going to copy that whole thing right there, paste it down here and then change the index. So basically this if statement is saying, okay, are these permissions confirmed? If they're not, then we need to ask for them. If they are, then we know we're good. So if they are, then we can do setup view pager. Um, and then else, then we need to verify the permissions. So let's get rid of the setup view pager method up here and then type verify permissions. And that way the tabs, nothing is going to get set up basically until they confirm those, those permissions. And well, we don't, we don't want to actually loop this. We need to actually ask for the permission. So activity compat dot request permission. And then here is where we would reference our context, which is search activity dot this. And then we would pass the permissions that we want to ask and then a request code. So I can just put a one here. Or you can define a global variable. So you can go private, uh, static, final integer, request, request code equals whatever, doesn't matter. And then we can take that request code and pass it down here. This is just for catching the uh, result in the on request permission result method that I'm going to insert down here. So control O on request permission result. And this, this is where we can catch our result code. But uh, in our in our scenario, we don't really care either way because of the way we've written this logic. This is handling everything we need. So if the permissions are all confirmed, the view pager will set up. If they haven't all been confirmed, then it will just ask the permissions. So basically down here, we can just say verify permissions. We don't really need to write any logic or catch the request code or anything because everything we need is handled in here. So that's pretty much all we need to do. And that will handle all of our permissions for this application. So I guess let's uh, test it. And we got a crash. Um, looks like a problem with our request code. So I'm, oh, I think it's just too big. This is too large. I'm just going to change it to one and then try running that again. Okay, cool. So right away when it, uh, when it starts, we, it gets, it asked me for permission to access uh, photos, media and files on the device. So I'll click allow and then uh, ask me for permission to record video. I'll click allow. And then there we go. Now it sets up our fragments. So everything at this point is working as we expect. So now that we have all the, the permissions. 
we can work on actually getting the uh, the images and the photo from the fragment, the, the select photo fragment. So oh, this isn't working for some reason. I'm clicking on that. Uh, let's go to post fragment. Oh, I didn't call it knit. Uh, so yeah, so in the next one, we'll work on uh, retrieving the image URI from uh, uh, select photo dialog or retrieving the image bitmap from select photo dialog and then sending it to post fragment where we can then display it and get it ready for uploading. So I'll see you guys in that next video.